And that brings us to the next big story this week. The stay-at-home order has been lifted. Social distancing and masks are here to stay, but groups of up to 100 people can gather outdoors with distancing. Pools can open at 50% capacity, day camps, retailers with limited capacity in stores, and restaurants, but with guidelines there as well. I talked with food writer at the Detroit Free Press, Mark Kralanchik, about what we can expect to see happen with the number of restaurants and even the type of food people may gravitate towards. I'm pretty sure we can, we can put a nail in the coffin of communal dining uh, you know, the, sitting very close at, at a communal dining table, shared plates too, you know, when restaurants do reopen. Um, I've also noticed that a lot of the restaurants that, that have pivoted towards takeout, particularly kind of the higher end restaurants, aren't really doing their high end food. They're doing fried chicken and, you know, maybe lobster rolls or even a place like Pernoy in Birmingham, which, you know, was aiming for, you know, Michelin star level food is, is turned itself into a, a trattoria doing, you know, red sauce Italian classics, um, because there is this longing for comfort and comfort food. I think that anywhere from a quarter to a third of our beloved restaurants probably won't make it, um, you know, or at least won't make it in the long term. I think before COVID hit, we were already seeing a little bit of a, a slowdown in this kind of explosion of new places. There was a saturation. I really, um, I don't know that fine dining is going to fare well. Um, in the future, I think because of this return to comfort, people just aren't going to have the money to support those types of places. And what I've seen so far is uh, folks who are doing a brisk carryout service pre-COVID are the ones who are um, doing well right now. And I think that that's only going to increase. I mean, I think people are just going to continue to to do carryout and delivery, um, at least, you know, for the foreseeable future.